Hi everyone, Ross here from Ross McGibbon Reptile Photography. Now I've got a really interesting little rattlesnake to show you. This one's called the Sidewinder and I filmed this little guy while I was in Arizona in the US a couple of weeks ago. Now it was high on my list to find because it's such a unique little rattlesnake and I'll tell you why. Firstly, it gets its name by this sidewinding motion that you can see here. And the other obvious feature that sets sidewinders apart from other rattlesnakes in the US are these raised superocular scales above the eye. And you can see here I've managed to capture that in great detail using a macro lens. Now as the snake starts to move away, you can see it's uh, using that sidewinding locomotion. And the reason why they move like this is for two reasons. One, because only a portion of their body touches the substrate at any one time. And this is perfectly adapted to the hot climates these guys are from. Now, when I was over there, it was 45 degrees Celsius in the desert, so you can imagine that the ground heats up a lot. So to avoid overheating, these snakes use this form of locomotion. Now the other reason why they move like this is because if they're trying to get up sandy uh, inclines, it's a lot easier for the snake to move up a sandy incline uh, using this form of locomotion. Now they can be found in Arizona, which is where I found this little guy, but um, I'll bring up a range map here and show you where they're from. They're from the southwestern corner of the United States and also the northwestern corner of Mexico. And as I pan around here, I want to show you guys the beautiful desert habitat that these snakes are found in. And it was a pleasure on the ice to film in, um, minus all the cactus trying to penetrate our skin every time we went past one. Now coming back to our little sidewinder friend here, you can see it's just starting to rattle again. And that rattle, rattle is just a warning. It's not a sign of aggression, which a lot of people mistake it for. All it's doing is saying, leave me alone, I'm here. And you can see that by just how close I am to this snake, that it's not aggressive, it doesn't want to attack me. All it wants to do is get away. And getting away is exactly what you're about to see. As soon as it finds a hole, it's ducking for cover because it believes I'm a large predator. And that's basically how snakes perceive us. Okay, that's all we have time for this evening. I hope you've really enjoyed this piece on the Sidewinder all the way from Arizona in the US. I'll leave you now with a few of my favourite photos from the encounter. Thanks for watching and good night everyone.